Previously, when we've worked with opening files and writing data to them, we've always used simple data. Simple things like strings and numbers, and we've written to them in a consistent order. But how do we write something that's a little bit more complicated? For example, a dictionary object like we have one listed here. Well, any type of complicated object, whether it's a custom object that we create or something like a dictionary object, needs to be stored in a special method. In order to do that, we have to learn how to write that in a particular order. That way, it can be read in consistently. If we have a complex data type like this, we need to do something called serialize it. Serializing is a process of taking complex data and listing each element out one at a time. That way, it can be stored and written, for example, to a file or across a network, and then be read back in to be used later on. So in this example, we are going to write out our phone book that's listed here. We import pickle, which is a tool that's used for this, and we open up an output file. We'll then simply say pickle.dump, and we specify our complex data type, comma, in our output file, and then we will close our file. So this is going to create a simple file for us. When I go and run this, notice that we don't see anything happen. I open up our phone book, and you'll notice that it doesn't look the way we might expect. Well, that's because it's written as a binary data. And Notepad, where I've opened this, is only handling text data. So while we can open it, we can't really modify it, so we wouldn't want to, because who knows what's going to be in here. So we need to go in and have another application, which is going to read from our file, and convert it back into the dictionary object. And that's what this file is doing. Once again, we have to import pickle, and we open up our phone book. Then we'll say pickle.load, and specify our end file, and save that as our phone book, and then we can print out our phone book. Notice that read in the file, Python was able to understand what that binary data was, and it converted into a dictionary object for us, as we've seen with previous dictionary objects before. Now, one thing to note, and we must be careful of, is Pickle can allow for some rogue data to enter in. So we only want to load data from a trusted data source if we're going to use Pickle. If we're getting data from an unknown source, we might want to prefer to use something for example, like JSON data, or something else like that, which will ensure that we don't get any rogue execution code inside of our data file.